everyone, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we are here together because I want to, and we're all going to invite you to learn a little bit about Invest for Better. I am Janine Firpo, and I'm the co-founder of this nonprofit organization. And we're really excited we're he that you're here and that you're interested in part of Invest for Better and that you're in interested in learning more about what an Invest for Better circle is. And what we're gonna do this evening is go through a little bit of that, introduce you to how we work, what it's like to be a member and the benefits that you get for being a member. So first I'll give you a little bit of background on our organization, how we came to be, what we're trying to do. And then we'll go into talking about the circles themselves, the experience, We'll show you some stories of um, other people who have been through circles, let you see a little bit from their experience and talk to you a little bit about the expectations that you might have um, as a circle member. And then we'll go to Q&A um, and adjourn as Jasmine who put these slides together said, just in time for the equinox, which I'm shocked by because it seems like it's too early. I would think we should be doing this like in October or November and not in September, but. Easy to say from California. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're in our sweaters here. <laughs> All right. So a little history on Invest for Better. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. Um, we spun off about a year ago. In fact, our first day that we announced Invest for Better was on September 15th of 2021. And that is actually now officially known as National Invest for Better Day. And we celebrated our second annual Invest for Better Day just a couple of days ago last week. The reason that we came together, so Ellen, my co-founder lives in Boston, I'm in the Bay Area. And she had about four years ago started her own circle with another woman. And their intention was really just to get together and learn together how they could not only invest more intelligently, but how they could invest in a way that created a better world. So they were very interested in sustainable and equitable investing. And that circle was so successful that Ellen was asked to do it again. And so she started helping women who wanted to run their own circles do that. She put together a curriculum for them. She helped them understand how to start a circle, what it would take. And as a result, she started running a couple more circles. And we tend to do these in cohorts. So what we're preparing for now is cohort number five, if I'm not mistaken, right, Chess? Right. Mm -hmm. Cohort number five, which will kick off in October. And we have women who step up to be circle leaders and then other women come in to join as members. And in some cases, the circle leaders find their own members. And in some cases, members like you um, can either know about a circle leader or you can be assigned to a circle leader or self-assign yourself to a circle leader who seems to appeal to you. And then these circles run for a six month period. So Ellen was doing that around the same time I was busy writing a book called Activate Your Money. And I wrote that book because I've been trying to align my own money with my values for over a decade. And I retired for about five years ago and realized that most women want to do this. It was a really an uphill battle for me to figure it out and learn how to do it. And it shouldn't be that hard. And so I decided to write a book to make it much easier for other women to do the same thing that I was doing. So that book was published in May of last year. And as the manuscript was getting completed, Ellen and I realized it was time for us to join together. And so we co-founded uh, Invest for Better, taking her circle idea along with the content that I had created. And we had a third woman who developed a new curriculum that's aligned with the book. And that's what we're doing now. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about the results we've had in a minute, but we're really here because we want to help women understand the power of their investments and to recognize that together, if enough of us start moving our money into the things that we care about, like our communities, um, supporting other women, ensuring a safe and sustainable planet for our kids and our grandkids, we can literally change the economy because by 2030, we are gonna control the majority of money in this country. So we provide you with a series of um, services when you become an Invest for Better member and the circles that we're talking about are just one of those um, benefits. And I'll go more into those in a moment. So we're gonna start by showing you a little 
uh, video. It's just two minutes long that explains a little bit more about who we are and, and our point of view. Go ahead, Jasmine. Money is power. So you work hard to get it and you work hard to keep it. You're doing well, but you also want to do good. For you, it's not just about wealth creation. It's also about being in alignment with your values. But investing your money and making decisions about where to move it can feel overwhelming. Where do you start? How do I know what I'm invested in? What if I'm funding things I don't agree with, like fossil fuels, prisons, tobacco, weapons? How do I move those funds into where? What if I make a mistake? The current financial system was built by men for men. And while most men learn from other men how to use the system to their advantage, a lot of women don't have those conversations. You feel like you don't know enough to take action with your money, and you don't have time to figure it out on your own. Women are more likely than men to give to charity as their income rises, but we don't trust ourselves as investors. It feels like the financial system doesn't speak to us. You're frustrated with what feels like a flawed financial system. You realize that you're not in control of your own money. What if we told you there's a better way? At Invest for Better, we are leading a movement to build a better system that aligns with our values. We're doing this by educating women on a different approach to investing. It's not about giving money away and it's not about profit at all costs. Values aligned investing is about investing in what matters to you and getting great returns along the way. Things like sustainable food and agriculture, supporting female small business owners, or clean energy. We can help you do this. Invest for Better is a values aligned money academy with peer led investing circles and a trusted community built by women for women. We are a movement that is reimagining investing. We've created a values aligned investing curriculum that demystifies the financial system. Our peer led investing circles help you learn how to use your investments as a force for meaningful change. And more than anything, we are a trusted community of women who encourage each other to take action and have fun along the way. Unlike guides you've had in the past, an advisor who talked down to you, a book that told you to just save more than you spend, we're not interested in perpetuating the status quo. We're here to help you step into your power. Join the ranks of all the fierce women who are courageous enough to do things differently. Join the women who are leading the way with Invest for Better. Okay, so what happens when you join Invest for Better or you join a circle? The circles, which I'll explain in a little more detail in a minute, will run for a six month period. Your initial circle will run for a six month period and you will meet once a month. Um, there'll be some homework that you do, and then you will go into a discussion period and talk with other women about what came out of that homework, your own money stories, and so on. So the circles are really an opportunity to connect and to have conversations about a topic that's mostly taboo and something we generally don't feel comfortable talking about with other women who are like-minded. And we hear from a lot of our members that this is just so powerful for them. It's something they've been waiting for, is to have the opportunity to have these conversations. In addition, when you become a member, you get a copy of my book, Activate Your Money, um, because as I mentioned earlier, the curriculum is built in part around that. We also use Mighty Network, which is a platform that enables us to provide you with easy access to all the course materials, and it's a place where we learn and share together and have comments and Everything we offer as events are listed there. So it's just our, our platform for community. Um, we have a series of, we have something called an activation series where every month we have two experts who come and talk to our members and to the broader community. Um, and these experts have talked on everything from our very first one in January, a woman named Amy, Amy Domini, who was one of the original um, innovators in what is now the sustainable investing space. And she talked about her history and what it was like 30 years ago when she was helping to kick this off. And we've had women who talk about cryptocurrency. We have a talk next week um, about 
your kids and how you can talk to your kids about money and when at different ages you should bring different things up. So we have a, a variety of speakers. We also have a very special thing that's just for our members called Ask, Ask the Expert. And this is monthly. We have a financial advisor, professional financial advisor who gets on a Zoom call and is there to answer any questions that our members have about their investments, about the material they're learning, about anything they want to ask related to the financial markets and to investing. We also have created a series of deep dive courses. These are three months each in duration. They, most of them function in the same way that the circle functions, but they are the opportunity once you finish the core curriculum to move on to subject matter that interests you and to go deeper into those subjects. So we have one on basic financial education, if that's what interests you, how do you make sure you've got enough for retirement? How do you make sure you have all your other documents in place? We've got one on the public equities market, how to pick uh, stock funds or stock companies that are values aligned. Um, we have one on getting started as an angel investor. We have one about finding a values aligned uh, financial advisor, and we're adding a couple more in November. So by the time you graduate from your six-month program, there will be probably eight different um, deep dive courses that you can choose from. So there'll be enough curriculum for you to go on for the rest of the year and even beyond if you wanted to. Um, other deep dives that we're working on just so that you know are the racial wealth gap. We're working on something around climate and environmental investing, something around gender lens investing and so on. Eventually we'll have a deep dive for every chapter of Activate Your Money. Um, and then we also have partnerships with a number of different organizations that provide discounts to our members. So for example, if you're looking for a financial advisor, we have a partnership with Values Advisor that has vetted um, financial advisors who help you invest this way. And some of those advisors have no minimums in terms of um, the kind of clients they uh, enable or the kinds of clients they work with and others on that platform have minimums of 25 million or more for those um, members of ours who have very high net wealth. So it's a very broad range and that is normally $700 a year to use that particular platform. It's free to our members. Um, so just to give you a sense of the kind of additional benefits we have. Go ahead, Jasmine. So the circle itself, as I already mentioned, some of these, um, they tend to be eight to 15 women. And um, it really is a great way for accountability and to start just paying more attention to your money on a regular basis. I just went through one of the deep dives myself. Um, I just went through the Values Aligned Advisor course and I've been wanting to find a new advisor probably 18 months and just never finding the time, I am now well on my way to having the person that's going to be my advisor. So that whole process of just being in community with other women and being accountable to them for doing just a little work every month um, makes a huge difference in getting to your goals. Go ahead, Jasmine. So this is the curriculum for the first six months, what we call our core curriculum. And the first month is really introductory. It's introductory to the other members of your circle, getting to know each other, setting some ground rules for how you wanna run your circle. We have some very important ground rules, things like this is a no sale space. So we do not allow women to come on and try to pitch or sell other women about their products or services. This is a trusted community um, without that. So we also have confidentiality recommendations and other kinds of recommendations about how you structure your space to make sure that you can all speak as freely as you want. We also, in the first session, teach you a little bit about what this kind of investing is, why it's important for women, particularly now. And we have you start thinking a little bit about, well, if you're gonna be a values aligned investor, what are your values? And a lot of people, when they think about this kind of investing, thinks, think it's about not investing in oil and gas. And that's part of it, but that's a very small part of it. What we're talking about is something much, much bigger than that. And that goes across a lot more of the things that matter to you. 
In the second section, we actually get into stories that we tell ourselves about money. We have you take a quiz, a very five, short five minute quiz where you identify the archetypes that drive you financially. And this tends to be a really popular um, month because it really opens women up to, to talk about how they view money. And a lot of us think our beliefs around money are absolutely true and that everybody has similar beliefs. And what we learn is that's not the case. And we all have been raised differently. We all have different beliefs about money. And some of those really propel us forward and some of them are inhibiting us. So it's a great conversation. We also get into um, an exercise around something called the sustainable development goals that help you identify a broader set of values that might influence your investing going forward. In the third month, which will be in December for this group, um, we talk about something called asset allocation, which is the decisions you make about how much of your money, what percentage of your money is in each different type of investment vehicle how much is in cash, how much is in bonds, how much is in the stock market, how much is in private, how much is in real estate, et cetera. And what we have learned um, and what I learned along the course of writing my book is that asset allocation and the decisions you make here are more important to your long-term financial health than the actual investments you make. So this is a really important topic that most women have not thought about. Most of us don't know how our money is allocated, why it's allocated the way it is, or whether that's the best way for it to be allocated. So we really go into that and explain how different asset classes work. And then in the fourth month, we show you, now that you know how your money is allocated, now you know what you're invested in, and now you know how well that those investments align or don't align with your values, all of which we do in session three, here are a bunch of options that you can consider across every single asset class that might be more meaningful to you. So we start to show you what's possible. And then you start to wrap that up in the fifth month where you create something called an investment policy statement. And in that document, you're pulling in all the things that you've talked about already, and you are succinctly articulating how you wanna invest your money and the steps you wanna take, the next steps you wanna take. If you have a financial advisor, it's a great tool to use with them. And if you're doing more of this on your own, it really helps clarify what you wanna do. And it creates sort of a foundational tool that you can use going forward. And then at the very last session, we talk about financial advisors, whether it's something you need or not, what kind of things they can do for you, how much they tend to charge, different fee structures, et cetera, and how to start going about finding your own advisor. So that's basically what we offer in the core curriculum. And now we're going to show you, um, a, again, a short two-minute video um, of some of the women who have been in our circles before explaining a little bit about their experience. Just for better circles are doing is I, I, I just believe this is capturing kind of a, a, a movement, a feeling across the country that, I, that I'm noticing, and I'm sure many of you are, that's why we're all here today, that women are just like ready to be empowered about their um, money in ways that we never have, that we historically have, have not been. I'll just say if there's any ounce of you that's a little bit nervous or feeling, what have I gotten myself into? I felt that way and now I'm like, oh, you know, I'm, that was not an issue. This is a community, we're all here together, learning together. We don't, you don't have to know all the things. We're all, um, and it's just great that you're doing this and let's get more of these circles happening all across the country. I joined an Invest for Better circle to meet and collaborate with other women to move the needle on racial justice investing in particular. The circle led me to recruit other women with influence into deeper impact investing. And I've got a list of action steps to further align money with values, both in my own portfolio, but also with the organizations I'm involved with at my, in uh, my denominations endowment and a local foundation. Join the circle and spread the word. It's an awesome experience. A couple of years ago, I started an Invest for Better circle so that I could learn alongside other women in my community about how to shift our money to align with our values. And I'm so glad I did. 
Not only have I made personal changes in where my money is invested, but I've also been able to learn alongside others. And we've built an amazing network of women who are learning and growing and making change. I'm so thrilled to be part of the Invest for Better Network, and I hope you'll join too. Perfect level for our members to be having these conversations. Some of the feedback we've gotten from them is that you know, not ready to really create my, you know, official plan just yet, but I feel so much more empowered. I feel so much more fluent. I have increased awareness. Now when I see a news article about news, uh, um, about impact investing, I feel a part of the conversation and just um, feeling more ready to have those, those conversations in their households and, and establish a plan. I really enjoyed was really diving into how you personally view money. Um, I actually took some of this learning and over the weekend worked with my own family to figure out some of our own financial archetypes and different things like that. And it brought up some really, really interesting discussions that I think will really help our family personally. This is such a great way for me to continue to, to grow my own understanding of this and really be able to figure out what kind of actions I wanna take to create a space where everybody could just bring whatever you're bringing to the table and let's learn together. And that's really what it is. It's about, let's just learn together and find out about this stuff. Uh, it was just a, it was also a really great way for us to continue to, to build a network beyond ourselves into these other, you know, uh, incredibly smart, intelligent, funny, wonderful women that are doing some really amazing work. Great. Well, one of the things I want to share with you is one of the women in there, a woman named Jensen, she got so excited by being involved in Invest for Better. She lives in Arkansas, I believe, and um, she wanted to invest in a particular product that she had learned about through us called C-Note, which is a cash alternative, and it wasn't available in Arkansas. So she set out to make sure that it could be offered there and she accomplished that goal. So she actually helped bring a product to her state that was not available in her state previously just so that she can invest in it. So what's, well, the reason I'm telling you that is because we really, I really am so inspired so often by the women who show up and participate in Invest for Better. They're really, a lot of them are just dedicated and I'm excited about the possibility of what they can do with their money. So at this point, I'm going to stop speaking and I'm going to um, hand the virtual mic over to Jasmine, who will pick it up from here. Hi, everyone. I'm Jasmine Tangway and I am program manager and I provide a lot of the direct support to leaders and members here. So we'll probably see uh, or communicate quite a bit going forward. Um, and like you saw in the video, we've had some amazing women participate, and we know that you'll be more of them. And we've been doing this for a while. We had circles going in 2019. And then when the pandemic hit, we started a more formal process to train and support leaders, which involved a regular contact with, uh, to assist them through the process of their circle. And then at the beginning of this year, we launched the next iteration, which was has been like a well with the new curriculum based on Janine's book and a formal membership program um, where we have much much closer contact with circle members themselves and provide a lot of as you heard about um, benefits and opportunities to engage um, outside of the circle itself. Um, I mentioned this just because um, I wanted to show you this slide, which shows a little bit of, of kind of what's happened to date. And as Jeannie mentioned, this is the this is going to be the fifth cohort. We have data collected from three cohorts because the fourth one is just about to be completed. Um, and we've we've done um, about um, 80 circles so far and um, had about 800 people go through the circles and we're showing a really high um, satisfaction, you know, from the from the members. And while it's not mandatory to move your money during the circle experience, and some of you might not be ready for that, but we're pleased that about 60% um, historically, though it's a little lower in the last cohort, um, have moved some of their money during that that period. Um, and so we're, we're just, we're so proud that, so, you know, such a high percentage of women really recommend this to others and we were, we, you know saw it as such a, a positive experience and they came away feeling more knowledgeable about their own portfolio more confident to ask questions and like they had a st strengthened network around them 
So in, in terms of what your role is, um, we really hope that that circle members will be able to take part in, in all the meetings um, so that there's continuity and that relationships can really be built and st strengthened over the course of the circle. Uh, usually there's about an hour of homework as Jeannie mentioned um, per month and then a, about a 90 minute meeting. Although that can vary if you're meeting in person and some circles are now, um, you know, it can be two hours over dinner or we even last time around Jeannie got a story from someone in this uh, circle was meeting for four hours at a time because they just couldn't get enough of each other. Um, so there's there's really tight knit groups that that um, enjoy hanging out uh, together, um, which is amazing. Um, and and there's time in both large and small groups, and I'll go into that in a moment. Um, but but we we most importantly want to make sure that um, everyone in the circle honors the group's ground rules, and these are something that you'll decide on together with with your circle. Um, your leader leader will share these as suggestions in the first meeting, but you can have a conversation about what's right for you. But um, it's important that everyone feel comfortable passing, not not talking when they're not comfortable. Um, and they always can can reserve that right. Um, as Jean mentioned, confidentiality and privacy are also very important. Um, sharing, not selling, honor, honoring others wherever they are on the journey. Um, participating consistently, being both a learner and a teacher, because the leaders aren't there to instruct. It's really not that model at all. They're there as a peer, and and they're going to share from their own experience, but they're not not there to teach you. They're all you're all there to teach each other, um, and then just supporting each other as you move through this um, into taking action as you're able to. So the pre work that comes before each session tends to look like this read a chapter from the book, um, listen to a video. Um, sometimes there's some additional, sometimes there's some additional resources. And then generally there's a worksheet. So that's your, your opportunity to do some, uh, um, you know, qualitative or sometimes quantitative um, note, note taking about, about your own situation. And, and that's what you would, that's what you would bring um, to, to discuss in your small group during the meeting. But we'll, we'll talk about that in, the, in a moment. So at the session, we've got the large group. So everyone comes together and, and kind of just goes over things at a high level. Um, and then typically, if you have a big enough circle, you would break out into some stable small groups that stay the same throughout the six months so that you can really develop deep relationships with you know, three or four other three or four other women who are in that group with you. Um, and then generally you would reconvene um, and sort of debrief with, with the group as a whole. And then often there'll be announcements and upcoming events and so forth to talk about. And so between sessions, there's, there's just a lot of exciting things going on nowadays that you can also take advantage of. Um, lots of additional resources, both on our website and then that we share um, on the online platform, which I'll be talking about. Um, there's the activation series speakers that Janine mentioned and the Ask, Ask the Expert sessions, which are member only and a great chance to just ask anything you want. Um, and then we have this online forum where you can ask things of um, other members of the community. Okay, so you, you've heard about all of these, you know, kind of membership benefits um, and content, but how do we deliver it to you? So the leaders are really central to this experience and they're gonna have a personal relationship with you throughout your first six months at minimum. But also we have this beautiful online portal to support and enhance your experience. So about nine months ago, we went to try to find kind of a one-stop shop where we could provide access to the many different kinds of offerings that we wanted to bring the Investor, uh, Invest for Better community. We wanted a place where people could access the curriculum directly. Um, we wanted to be able to um, keep track of all these events that Janine was talking about. We wanted a place where people could have um, conversation and, we, we've even found something that allows each circle to have its own private group on the network for their own, um, for continuing, you know, conversations between meetings and so forth. 
Um, and we wanted to be able to give you access to like a range of member benefits that Janine talked about and things like recordings of all the sessions that have come before. So we think we found a great product. And so we built this out and, and made it available to the membership. And it's kind of like a private social network. You'll recognize the interface it's very much like Facebook or LinkedIn, but none of the distractions. And everyone's here to contribute to the community. And it, it also gives you the ability to sort of track your progress through the curriculum. So um, you know, you can watch a video and check it off the list and keep track of uh, as you go of your of your pre work before each meeting. Um, but in addition, there's all these other aspects to it. So events and recordings of previous events and um, people who are connecting with each other around questions that are asked and then answered and uh, people who are connecting geographically and people who are connecting around interest areas. So it's really growing as a place where the entire Invest for Better community, including people who did circles a year ago, can be part of the conversation and contribute um, their insight into your questions. And there's a phone app, so you can put it on your tablet or your phone and take it with you. It's pretty easy to use. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but it really does offer an opportunity to really easily access these different benefits that we want to bring to you. Um, so these are some images on the screen, just a few of them are directly you know, captured from um, the network itself, itself. And then I just wanted to show you, these are our screen captures from um, the, the portion that's dedicated to the curriculum. So you can see here that for, for a particular circle meeting, um, this is what you'd see um, in terms of your assignments and keeping track of those. And then you can go in and write in, write in the platform, watch videos, um, and so forth. Okay, so now that we've talked to you about all the amazing things that are part of membership, we just want to talk about the steps to becoming a member. And um, then we wanted to save lots of time for question and answer. So we'll do that next. Um, but whenever you're ready to join, um, what you're going to do is follow the link uh, that you can find on our website or, or um, is provided by a leader um, that'll take you to a registration form. Um, it asks some questions about what your goals are and what you want to be focusing on. So some of which we provide to circle leaders so that they can kind of customize based on who's in the circle. And once you submit, you'll get a link. It's going to take you to Mighty Networks to set up an account. Um, we, we ask for a $100 donation, more if you're able to. Um, we also have scholarships available. Um, and then you'll set up your Mighty Networks account that'll allow you to access all of the things that I was, that I was just talking about. Um, in terms of matching with a leader, some folks come in already, already matched with one. But if you, if you don't, then we'll follow up fairly quickly with some options for um, connecting to someone who's a good match for you. And the, um, well, and Janine mentioned the book, we generally, generally try to ship that um, right away, but it takes a couple of weeks generally to arrive, but we do um, offer the first chapter digitally so folks can get started uh, right away um, that way. And then um, in October, we are, is generally when your the the circles will be having their first meeting. Um, so you're want, going to want to at your convenience get your pre work done before your first meeting. Read the first chapter of the book and a, a couple other items that. Um, and we're, we're also going to have a um, Zoom session for all new members and um, others um, in the middle of the month to sort of give you a tour of the Mighty Network and make sure you're comfortable with all of the, the tools and benefits that are part of um, your membership. And then, and then you'll have a first meeting with your circle.